Hey everyone, welcome back. I am starting my night off and I'm starting it off at McDonald's right behind me. It was the first order that came in and scooped it up. So $11.75. Here I come. I'll take it for a McDonald's order. You usually don't see McDonald's orders that high. So I think it's a good way to start off my night. I'm going to go out for a couple of hours tonight and we'll kind of see what shenanigans we can get ourselves into. It is kind of a hot, muggy, humid night. I got an air quality alert if that tells you anything. So I'm ready to get my night started. It is Monday night. I literally have zero expectations for Monday nights. They are the worst nights in my area. And ironically, it is actually the one night I can work as late as I want because my husband is at home with my daughter and I don't have anything going on for YouTube. So I don't know. I, I always want to take full advantage of being out here and Mondays, there's so many restaurants in my area that are always closed on Mondays. It's frustrating. So usually I have to move my zones around where I normally get orders. I have to move them to where restaurants are actually open opposed to the area of the mat and restaurants are closed. And those are the things as a lot of times, and you guys know if you're an experienced driver, that not every day is the same. Not every restaurant is open every single day of the week. And you need to figure out what that is in your own area. With that being said, I am going to go into McDonald's. I'm going to get this order started so we can officially kick off our night. And let's go make some money. Okay, as I'm sitting here waiting in traffic again, I took this order right here for a Rite Aid order. I'm only shopping for three items, a little over three miles to beat. A darn good order. So I'm heading to Rite Aid as soon as I get over this bridge that is filled with other cars that are preventing me from getting to Rite Aid. <laughs> so one thing, you know, I don't think a lot of people ever think when they jump into doing DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, like some of like the factors that go into getting a delivery done, like traffic. I know when I first started part-time, like I never thought about it. I just, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go out and make money. And then you get stuck in traffic and you're like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> it happens almost every night though that I go out. I almost always go out between like 5 and 5.30 and it's like prime time or rush hour traffic. So it becomes a little tricky maneuvering around my area because everybody's getting off of work. You kind of forget about work world when you're engulfed sometimes in the gig world. But anyway, I'm heading to Rite Aid for my next order to go shopping for three items. Okay, so that last order took me way too long. It was supposed to be a simple three items. The self kiosk at Rite Aid were down and then there was like a line going down the aisle. So finally I got out of there and it was cough syrup and they asked for my ID and then they needed to manage your approval and I'm like, oh my freaking word, just get me out of here. So finally it was dropped off, but this is the weird thing. Have you guys ever seen this? I don't know what was going on. So GPS took me to the exact address, verified house number. I knew the street and this, popped up as I was about ready to take a picture of the order. So I'm like, it makes you question your own self. I was doubting myself and I'm like, that's weird. So I'm looking at their house number. I'm like, nope, that's their house number. So then I looked at, I backed out of it and I looked at the DoorDash map to make sure it lined up and it did. It says I was at the location. I looked at GPS, GPS said I was here and I'm like, that's just weird. So I'm like, oh, maybe it was a fluke. So I did it again and it happened again. I'm like, and then they said that, I think there was like an option on the bottom that says I am at the right location. Have you guys ever seen that before? I've never seen that before. Weird. I'm telling you, the DoorDash app and the updates, the, even like they're just minor updates that DoorDash has been doing to their apps, but some of it just does not make sense. 
Yes, my phone is not tilted and it is straight for taking a picture. That one frustrates me. <laughs> anyway, I am moving on to this order right here. I was about ready to screenshot my last order because the customer gave me an additional dollar. So it was $8.75, went to $9.75, but this order came in too quickly for me to take a screenshot. So. I'm on to this order next local salad place. I just pulled up. I got a parking spot, so I'm going to go in, go grab it, and get it done. Kind of love that last order. It was only 0.3 miles. I literally had to go around the block. Love it when that happens. But this was the payout right here and done. I was backing out of the driveway, and this is the next order that came in. So I said, well, that's awesome. And I said, hello. <laughs> and I took this order as my next order. I just pulled up. I even got a parking spot right in front, front of the restaurant. Mondays are fantastic for parking in my area. And the other day, not so much, but it's it's all good. I always love hate Mondays. I'm telling you, I love it because I can work it. I hate it because there's nothing open. So I literally am taking every single thing that comes my way within reason <laughs> and I've, I have not declined one order yet tonight so I'll take that as a as a win go DoorDash so with that being said the app is being kind to me for once tonight even on a Monday night usually that does not happen whatsoever but you know what I'll I'll take it as long as it's coming to me free so I am going to go pick this order up. It is catering bag required. So I do need to take a picture of my bag because this is my first one of the evening. So let's go get it done. Okay, leave that door. Last order is done. It ended up being this right here. So it's a pretty easy order, easy drive. Order was ready, so I can't complain too much. On the way back, I did keep DoorDash on just because there's usually nothing going on on a Monday night. Usually I would pause it, but then I got my first decline in DoorDash I've had all day. I was on a good run all day with DoorDash, which um, I'll take as a win any day in my book as far as declines for DoorDash. So first one of the day. Hopefully it's my last, but because of this order, I then did put DoorDash on pause until I got back to my zone. So now I'm working on this order right here, and I just pulled up, about ready to go walk, go grab my order. Should be ready, hopefully it's ready, and continue on. I was pulling out of the driveway at my last drop off, and this order came in, so I grabbed it. I was literally maybe half mile, maybe a mile away from this restaurant, so I was actually pretty close, which is kind of awesome because I was a little further away from my own area, so it's kind of nice to get an order out here to kind of keep the wheels in motion, which this is what this one does. I always love it when you get orders that, like when you're a little further away, that you either get one there or it actually brings you back. So you feel like, at least for me, it feels like it's not a waste of a trip. So I am not ready. I just picked it up. There was like a little bit of a wait, probably like a five minute wait, but it's all good, especially when it comes to an order like this. So have it in the hot bag and I'm on my way. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Yeah, it's an app update. <laughs> so the order I just did, I was at the drop off. I go to take a picture and no service in the area whatsoever, which is always a pain in the butt. But what do you do? You take a picture on your phone, you get a little further away until you get service, you upload the picture and off it goes. You close out the order. Um, no, not so much. So I literally got four houses away from this order. I finally, I mean from this house and I finally got service. I'm like, okay, I'll close it out. Yeah, I got this again. They were saying I wasn't at the right location. The thing is, is you, if you hit 
got it, it kind of recycles itself and then the screen comes back and oh, it's frustrating. Finally, after like the third try, you hit got it. And then I did not take a screenshot of this and I apologize because I was just so frustrated in getting this order closed out. There's now a menu that you have to choose from of why you're not at the right location. I'm like, are you kidding me? More steps, more steps, DoorDash. Yeah, I was at the right location. Unfortunately, no service does happen and it happens quite often, at least in my area does. Does this have, does no service happen in some of your areas as well? There's very specific spots where I deliver to that no matter where I'm at in this town, I have to wait like a block, even a mile sometimes before I can close out the order. In an update like this, this is a pain in the butt. DoorDash for another fantastic update. So moving on, I am now doing this order right here for a restaurant that I have to walk across the street to. I wasn't fortunate to get parking this time, so I have to do a little bit of walking. So I'll get a couple more steps in today. So I'm going to go pick up this order after being frustrated. And just like that, our night has come to an end. I got that screen again in the last drop off, even though I was at the right address this time. It just allowed me to go ahead and proceed with the photo. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this new update. You guys are going to have to let me know. Are you getting the same annoying <laughs> alert with every single order? Because it literally happened, I think, every order except for two or three tonight, which is crazy craziness but thank you guys so much for coming along with me if you're new here don't forget to subscribe make sure that that bell is turned on so you know when all my latest videos come out and I'll see everybody in the next video remember kindness is always free peace out if you liked this video and want to see others like it, go ahead and check this out right here. New to my channel? Don't forget to subscribe. And everyone, leave me a comment.